The ninth Sunday after Pentecost, year B, from the Gospel according to John. Gather up the fragments left over, so that nothing may be lost. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week attend to God's ability to make good use of things we ourselves consider disposable. Alas, David illustrates this attitude of disposability all too well in our first reading. He attempts to manipulate Uriah the Hittite in order to cover up the pregnancy resulting from David's affair with, or possibly even rape of, Uriah's wife Bathsheba. David not only robs Bathsheba of her honor, but robs her also of an honorable husband. Later, she loses the child as well. How desperately must she have needed, sitting there amidst the ashes of this disaster, the prayer of the letter to the Ephesians, that we be strengthened in our inner being with power through the Spirit, and that Christ dwell in our hearts through faith as we are being rooted and grounded in love. The letter to the Ephesians speaks of God as able to accomplish abundantly far more than all we can ask or imagine. From Bathsheba, a random woman faithfully taking a bath to purify herself after her period, little knowing the ordeal she's about to endure, God creates a queen, a temple, and a dynasty. So also, in our Gospel reading, does God make enough out of five loaves and two fish to feed 5,000 people, with enough left over to fill 12 baskets? (laughs) Even if the loaves were as big as cartwheels and the fish were a couple of 500-pound bluefin tuna. In other words, even if we imagine the boy leading a wagon of food rather than carrying a lunch basket, there would not have been enough to go around. How often do we ourselves look around at whatever's become of our lives and labor and find ourselves in a wilderness place, surrounded by the rubble of hopes that have been dashed to pieces on the hard rocks of reality? How often do we look around to see if there is any who is wise, if there's any who seeks after God, and in our looking find no one? In such times, Faith teaches us to call upon the Lord who is our refuge. For our Lord, our God, is able to gather up from all the scraps of our strength, from all the scraps of our wisdom, from all the scraps of our righteousness, enough to feed all who are hungry, with still more left over besides for those who come after us. In the name of that God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.